Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, this is going to be our uh, episode one. Last episode was um, just uh, character creation and uh, the first bit of the walkthrough, even though it was an hour long. That's uh, what I intend to do with all my Let's Plays. The first, or the introduction episode, as I'm going to call it, is going to, always going to be an hour long. So yeah, we're going to go back to our normal 50, uh, 30 minutes. But yeah, let me just show you what we got yesterday, because, man, I mean, first of all, look at his armor. Damn, and look at the weapon. Ooh. These are uh, some of the weapons you get if you buy the uh, deluxe edition, and uh, with some other things attached to it and stuff. Yeah. The bow of the dragons. Holy crap, a level 5 bow. Does uh, 62, uh, 62 uh, uh, DPS, 50 damage, plus 5 fire damage, 4 dexterity, plus 6 ground damage bonus. I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's because if the, the mob I'm attacking is on the ground. Firm, uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what that firm grip is. Firm bow grip, I have no idea what that is. Uh, lesser fire rune. I, I think that's the fire damage or something like that. Or maybe it's even more fire damage. I don't know. I'm still uh, still new to this. And then there's the dragon armor. Fire resistance. Apparently, there's a lot of fire in this game. <laughs> oh my god! I only got four uh, fire resistance. Uh, Fourteen fire resistance on this one. And I do believe I have it on already. Don't I? Ah, uh, okay, I can't. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, I can't. Uh, it's for resistance to elf, uh, dwarfs, and humans. Damn. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Lol. Let's uh, go out and uh, have a look see. Whoa. Damn. They're all saluting me because That's her. she stopped the breach from getting any bigger. Not taking orders right now. Got a problem with it? Bring it up with Cassandra. Chancellor Roderick says that their Chantry wants nothing to do with us. That isn't Chancellor Roderick's decision, sister. Okay, must do it was uh, do as it says. Mm -hmm, okay. be taken to Val Royo immediately, to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe she is guilty. The Konari failed, Seeker. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, she intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Your duty is to serve the Chantry. My duty is to serve the principles on which the Chantry was founded, Chancellor, as is yours. Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. Uh, 
Let me guess. You need my help. You have done plenty. Your actions will be taken into account by the new divine. <coughs> have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. I am not the, I am not a chosen one. Are you sure? You really think your Maker would send someone like me? The Maker does as he wills. It is not for me to say. <clears throat> Even if that means a Kunari is his chosen? Humans are not the only people with an interest in the fate of the world. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. That's how it's done. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. I agree for now. Actually, I, I want a third one. Uh, like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm with it all the way. I'm not like, I agree for now. Ugh. This is rather strange. Oh, yeah, I want to help. If you are truly trying to restore order, that is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. <laughs> I like this. Uh, so many things are connected. I mean, this. Even uh, if I decided to say one thing, the story completely changes down the line. I love it! Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, who's he? And who's she? Uh-huh. Using ravens as messenger birds? Damn. Well, well, well. I'm pretty sure he has something to do with it. Where's my armor? Got my bow, but I don't have my armor hat on uh, on at the moment right there. 
Who is my lover? Okay, let's see some action. Yeah, we... Uh. Damn. Uh huh. You don't see my. Uh, you don't see my mouse head. That's weird. Where's my armor? Ah, uh, it's because I got this one. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that's the charm tree. But now we can do something over here. What do we have here? It... Oh! No segments available. What about the rebel mages? Rebel mages probably made that damn have you been able to save many people? I didn't realize any of Leliana's Oxmen mercenaries were still here. Well, if you want new gear, you pay for it. Oh, you're her. Thryn, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. How do, okay, how do I fill special orders? If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. <coughs> okay. Uh. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have. But we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You nice. find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. Cool. Uh, investigate. Uh, what's your what's your job here? What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. Ah. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logan McTeer. Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Nice. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. A lot of people seem to think they know what happened at Ostagar, but I was there. Turn Logan never betrayed his king. If he brought the reinforcements, Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. He did what he had to do. To That's save the old Lord Dragon Age. And we betrayed him. That's but the first one with the Darkspawn. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. Farewell. Make a go with you. Okay, five iron, a logging stand, speak with the smith, speak with the uh, project pro okay, cool. What's she doing? So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. <laughs> Too many people had died up here, up there. Uh, I'm, ju uh, I'm just glad to be alive. I'm fine. This, uh, this is all bullshit. I can barely, uh, barely keep up. I don't even want to think about how many lives were lost on that mountaintop. A lot of good men and women didn't make it out of there. 
For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows oh, yeah. what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Uh, not before we go a little further. I, what, I, uh, what I just remembered was, I'm going to have to set subtitles underneath here as soon as I can. Pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad? You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky, that's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Yeah, you're right about that one. Uh, let me just see here. I can't see because I'm apparently in some kind of weird wacky stuff okay here uh interface control bindings display graphics uh it's not a gameplay here no oh, it's not interface hide helmet no hide to i don't know hot visible always on of course quick track of fade while active uh Damage the floating text, effect floating text, uh, display. Isn't there any subtitles? Why is that? Oh, wait a minute. Graphic API, yeah, that. <clears throat> Let's go with this one. I want the mouse cursor to be a little bit bigger. I thought that a small one uh, was good enough, but uh, when combat and stuff, I sometimes oh, I can't see my mouse. Okay, there we go, a little bit bigger, but you can't see that because uh, I don't know why. Because uh, I think my uh, recording system is blocking out the mouse cursor. But why can't I? Uh, Uh, this is just graphics. There's no subtitles. That sucks. Okay. What do we have down here? A merchant of some kind? Well, well, well. Buy and sell. Ooh. What do you got here? Yeah, nowhere near what I have, what I've got already. How about armor? Yeah. Okay, sturdy. A rare grit. A grip. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, cool. You can upgrade your weapons with these small attachments. This one is probably for a sword of some kind. It gives uh, plus three cunning, apparently. Aiming module. Rare aiming. Oh, nice. This is for a bow, I think. What? Bianca's arm? Arms one? Is this for his... Uh, rare arms? These are, this is for his uh, Bianca. I'm gonna buy this one. I'm not sure. Uh, whoa, what do we have here? Study. Ah, these are recipes of blueprints. Study. These are also Bianca's. Yeah, I got, I got more than enough gold. Buy back, okay. Sell. Mm, rogues only. Let me see if um, 
the other guy, the dwarf, can uh, carry this one. And this is 51, this is 43, yeah, we're gonna sell this one and this one. Uh, maybe the dwarf can ha have that one too. Upgrades, no. Dawn Lotus, rare herb. Primary slot, low armor rating. Utility slot, plus one magicka. Office, uh, offensive slot, plus one attack. Defensive slot. Hmm. Okay. Valuables. Aquamarine, I don't know what to use, uh, to use that for. Okay. Those are the ones I've just bought myself. Yeah. Okay, so valuables, I can just go sell all. So, an Aquamarine apparently doesn't use for anything. I'm not going to sell it because... I have no idea what I can use it for, so yeah. Ah, you're awake and out of Lady Cassandra's clutches. And here I paid that little knife here to inform me the moment you were free. No matter, no matter. Sacred, honored to meet you. Thank you for all you've done. Hopefully, we'll still do. Thank you for your kind words. Easily given. Our fate is quite literally in your hands, from what I hear. Anything you need is yours. For a reasonable price, of course. <laughs> Supplies are a little tight, given the circumstances. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroyed most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an inquisition is called. Yet, of course, yeah. we're all getting used to, well, you as our last best hope. Uh, nothing personal. <laughs> Until later. Stay safe. Okay. And there's even more out here somewhere. Oh, I can't. I can't fire. Apparently. Well, okay. There's something out behind here, but I can't get to it at the moment. I don't see why we need to build siege equipment. We're not laying siege to anything. We're making siege equipment because you might need it. There was no word for heaven or for earth, for sea or sky. All that existed was silent. Okay. Report to heaven's chart tree. That's apparently my little house there when I'm staying here. Does it trouble you? Nothing more. Uh. It stops spreading and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time. And Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. <laughs> That's me! What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? <laughs> Hold on to that sense of humor. 
Yep, yeah, that's me. That sounds like fun. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. You're even taller than I'd heard. And of course, <laughs> you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. <laughs> Impressive titles. A pleasure. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Well, that was quick. Does that matter? Does that matter? Yeah. Can't you simply ignore them? If only that were possible. Some are calling you, a Kunari, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Uh, could we could, uh, could we be attacked? So I'm the problem. The breach doesn't worry them. The herald of. Hmm. Just how am I the herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple. How you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I like it. I don't mind it at all. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. And now we're back to this one. Could we be attacked? Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll talk to her, of course. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Okay. Oppositions. The war uh, table allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition throughout Orleans and f uh, Friedel or Free Friedel Friedel. Uh, sorry, Mother Cecil is in the hinterlands, which can be found on the Friedel side of the table. Okay, cool. War table. The Inquisition can unlock new areas for you to explore throughout st uh, scouting uh, op uh, operations. Perform the scouting operation for the hinterlands in the Fresnel side of the war table now. There's apparently a rift there. And this is where we're going. 
Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. Cool. Power one. Scout the hinterlands. Okay. What kind of bird is that? It's a cross between a raven and a hawk. That's Mother Cecil, apparently. Well, with that, thank you all so very much for watching. I catch you on the flip side.